morning, guys. Welcome to Life of Palos. I am Aaron Palos, and welcome to another beautiful day of supercar community news for all of you. Except today we're doing something a little bit different than normal. Today we're not going to be going over the supercar community news as much. We're going to be going over my top 10 favorite automotive YouTubers with a couple honorable mentions. So uh, these are in no particular order whatsoever, and I want to make sure you guys comment your own top 10 list in the comments to tell me where I was wrong or whether you think I'm missing somebody or whatever you want. But here we go, guys. We're going to jump right into it. So number one, in no particular order. Let's go. Number one, the Stradman. Stradman has been blazing a path on YouTube since, well, really, when he got fired basically the same day that he bought a Lamborghini Gallardo. Ever since then, he's been sort of changing his vlogging style to be more updated and exciting, basically delivering the best hypercar content that YouTube has to offer. From being there when the first Bugatti Chiron was delivered to the U.S. to actually showing what it looks like when a 16-year-old takes a Bugatti Chiron to the DMV. Stradman has been doing absolutely phenomenal content. One of the things that I respect the most about Stradman is that he only really puts up episodes when he feels like he has something worthy to talk about. He didn't fall into the daily vlogging trap that so many YouTubers, myself included, try to do. He only puts up video content when he really feels like he has something exciting to share with his viewers. And it's shown he has one of the largest channels, some of the most consistent viewership, and phenomenal new subscriber numbers every single month. Number two, Drag Time. Now, Drag Times might not be one of the largest automotive YouTube channels, but it certainly delivers a type of content that all of us want to see. The reason why I like Drag Times so much is that pretty much any fantasy matchup in a quarter mile situation that you can think of, Drag Times is going to have it. You want a 488 versus a 720? Boom. You want to see what a Lamborghini Huracan stock does against the Lamborghini Aventador SVJ? Boom. We've got that too. Drag Times does something that we all want to see, which is providing fantasy matchups every single week in at least one sort of area of test to speed. Not on a track or anything like that, but it's a simple quarter mile. The sort of speed that we can all sort of relate to and understand the easiest. Number three, Cars with Luke. Now, Cars with Luke is one of the smallest channels that we have on our list today, but nevertheless provides some of the best content you'll see throughout all the channels that we discuss today. Cars with Luke uh, does a phenomenal job of cinematography and has some of the most beautiful shots I've not only seen in an automotive channel, but in YouTube, period. Almost every episode that he has starts off with absolutely stunning displays of just everyday things from, you know, making coffee in the morning, walking out to the car, starting it, showing what he's seeing when he's on trips. If you're not following Cars with Luke, you're missing out on a phenomenal channel. Number four, Daily Driven Exotics. You guys knew this one was going to be on this list for sure. We talk about Daily Driven Exotics a lot because they provide some of the craziest automotive content on YouTube, period. They always seem to be pushing the limits. They're always buying new and exciting cars and they have some of the craziest wraps and modifications on their supercars that any channel has. They're throwing in, you know, occasional people like Alex Choi and Amelia Hartford and all sorts of other folks like that. Steve POV uh, creates one of the most eclectic automotive YouTube channels. If you're not following Daily Driven Exotics, I don't know what you're doing. I really don't. Number five, Vin Wiki. Ed Bullion has done an absolutely fantastic job of taking what we tried to borrow from when we started our own channel here, talking about different automotive supercar news, and having people sit down to tell car stories. Something so simple, but something that everyone understands and can watch and enjoy. The best thing about the VinWiki channel is that we get a really wide variety of stories, everything from supercars to trucks to everything you could possibly think of. VinWiki seems to have it all. So if you want to hear fun car stories, there is no better channel than VinWiki. Coming in at number six is Shmi150. It wouldn't be a top 10 list without Shmi. Shmi has some of the greatest access to all of the craziest hypercars, supercars, and brand new exciting cars you could possibly think of. And the guy grinds harder than any other YouTube channel with over 3,000 different videos in his automotive library. He does phenomenal work, always has a smile on his face, and always brings us the positivity that we want to see in an automotive YouTube channel. Shmi150 is the gold standard standard for automotive YouTube channels and something that we all sort of seek to look at when we make our own videos. Coming in at number seven might be a surprise to some of you guys, but it's Vehicle Virgins. Now, Vehicle Virgins is one of the largest automotive YouTube channels with over two million subscribers and a phenomenally large library of YouTube videos to pick from. But one of the things I like most about Vehicle Virgins is even though he doesn't get quite as many views as he used to about a half a year ago or so, he continues to grind putting out fantastic reviews and interesting vlogs. I really just respect 
respect where he came from. Vehicle Virgin is one of the first sort of large automotive YouTubers that came onto the scene, and I still enjoy his work to this day. Number eight is F Spot. Now, I had to have at least one supercar spotter on this list, and F Spot is the one that I'm most familiar with, and I've watched more than any other car spotter over the years. The reason why I like F Spot so much is because he sees the best cars. He's, he's literally putting in large amounts of time out in Beverly Hills pretty much every single day, and sort of has, I mean, like the sort of wonder and excitement that we see when we see supercars on the street. It's all very like raw and real, more so than a lot of other channels, which is why F Spot makes it into my top 10. Number nine is Hoovy's Garage. Now having interviewed uh, Tyler myself, I can tell you he's a very, very real dude, really loves what he does and enjoys putting out fantastic content and really sort of started a revolution in terms of buying cheap cars and sort of doing interesting things with them afterward. His influence on the automotive YouTube world is pretty massive and you see a lot of other people emulating his particular style, which is pretty tough to do, no joke. Movies Garage comes in at number nine. And number 10, guys, is Goon Squad. I had to have at least one rebuild channel in the top 10 list, and Goon Squad makes it primarily because they're so fast growing. They went from 45,000 subscribers to over a million subscribers in less than a year. It's absolutely astounding. Goon Squad probably has the greatest potential to be one of the largest automotive YouTube channels, period. If you're not watching them, and if you like the rebuilding series, Series, uh, you need to be following them right away before they explode into the, the stratosphere of automotive YouTube. And while the top 10 list may be done, I have three honorable mentions. I know I'm cheating a little bit, which basically top 13. The three honorable mentions that I have from my personal sort of like favorite list are Joe Knows Best, another phenomenal YouTube channel that has some of the best cinematography work. Uh, Street Speed 717, who I follow primarily for his supercar content when he had his McLaren 570S and now his 720S with the turbos, fantastic stuff. And Tavarish, whose sort of like humorous take on doing the rebuild series has sort of earned him a pretty incredible spot in the automotive YouTube lineup. So guys, who did I miss? Who's in your top 10 list? That's the end of it. We eventually had essentially 13 automotive YouTubers. Let me know what you guys think of my list and if I missed anyone that you think I should be watching. And make sure to put your top 10 list in the comments below so we can all sort of compare and contrast our list of who we watch on a day-to-day -day basis. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching guys. Have a wonderful day and let me know if you enjoyed this sort of top 10 video. I've got a couple other in mind if you want to see more content like this. Have a wonderful Tuesday guys. We'll catch you tomorrow. Bye.